Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to look at Barlow lenses, like these, and eyepieces. These are all Celestron eyepieces and Barlow lenses. You probably can't see my name on that one. And we're going to go through the uses and the different sizes and all the magnification power. So we'll start with the, the biggest eyepiece we have here which is a 20mm eyepiece, okay? It's got quite a, uh, quite a wide lens on this one, if I can get the fucking thing out. No, it's stuck. Anyway, this is a 20mm eyepiece. It's a low magnify magnification power. We have a medium sized eyepiece, which is a 12.5mm eyepiece. I've written that on there by the way, and you can see the observing side there, you can't see the focus inside. This is a smaller lens, but more magnification, and this is a 4mm, which again is a really, really small lens with a higher magnification power. Now a Barlow lens, these increase the power of an eyepiece by 3 times or 1.5 times its original magnification power. So with a, um, if you have a 20 mm eyepiece and a 1.5 Barlow lens, you get a magnification power of 30 times. So 30 times magnification. With a 12 mm you get 18, and with a 4 mm you get 6. Now with a three times magnification Barlow lens, with a 20mm you have 60 times, with a 12mm you have 36 times, and a 4mm you get 12 times magnification. So if you want the highest magnification, then you want to use a 20mm eyepiece with a three times Barlow lens, or you can use a 20mm with a 1.5 times. So, you can see it says erecting an eyepiece there and it says Barlow lens but they do the same thing. Now, to know the magnification of your telescope, I have made this which shows you the, um, the magnification of the telescope. So on here it's got the magnet, so we have a simple, let's go back, we have a simple equation here, we have magnification equals focal length of the optical tube divided by the focal length of the eyepiece. So here the focal length of the optical tube is 600 millimeters. divide that by 20 millimeters, which is this eyepiece here, we get 30 times magnification, that's just the eyepiece in its diagonal or straight in the optical tube. We have 600 divided by the 12 millimeter, which is this one. And we get 50 times magnification. And we have 600 divided by four millimeter, which is finally that one. We get 150 times magnification. So if you just use a four mil, straight in the optical tube on the telescope, you will have a very high magnification or 150 times. So a simple equation. Magnification equals the focal length of the eyepiece, sorry, the focal length of the optical tube divided by the focal length of the eyepiece and that will give you your magnification. And how these work, this eyepiece going to the back of here, sorry, the eyepiece would go into the back of here and this would go into your optical tube. You can put a di put it diagonal put this into a diagonal and have the eyepiece but you might not be able to get full magnification. The same way if you were to put this into the optical tube into the focusing tube and you had that in a, in a diagonal and you put a diagonal in there again you still wouldn't get the full magnifying power. I, w I just put that straight in the optical tube, put that in there and use it that way. Hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like this video, 
up next we will have a video guide on a device called a planisphere. Thank you very much for watching, goodbye.